I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're, we're filled to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two, Two countries. countries. One heart. <laughs> I love you. That's why. It's good enough to this time. <laughs> Welcome to our Chica Chica, Chica move, move Up update. Day. High five. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> we're running out of daylight. Normally we do multiple takes on that. But we're good. We're good for today. Okay. That to update you, because it's been a while. Yeah. That it is 17, 17 more days from the flight date and five days from my last day of work. That in case you noticed and try to jive the numbers from last one, they yeah. don't. <laughs> that we have a flight change date. Yeah, Pal wanted to continue to put us into Manila and when we called them up they said they had absolutely no international flights going into Cebu. Yeah. And so we decided to take a voucher and yeah. find another airline. Which we did. And now we're leaving on the seventh of October. <laughs> and it's kind of advantageous to us because we plan on taking four maxing out our checked luggage yeah and this way we check it in phoenix and pick it up in cebu we, yeah. we don't have to try and transfer it in la yeah no hassle so it'll be a little bit smoother a little bit more, uh, more relaxed flight that way as well yeah and with everything going on with all the changes with all the up in the air and still not knowing and all this that somebody suggested this is a long vacation, not a move. Correct. Because we're not selling our house and we're, there's just a lot of things going on and we're coming back next year eventually. So it is a long vacation. <laughs> there's just, it's more of a trial and error. Like it's also a learning experience on what are the things that we need to do which place we're gonna stick around or you know so we don't know so that's what we call it long vacation and, and there's there's a lot of things that'll that could potentially change the time frame we come back in yeah and so we're just calling this an indefinitely long vacation yeah <laughs> if we come back in february if we come back in may it don't matter correct agreed that it we're just gonna go out and have fun and see what happens. Correct. And be concerned about it, but not worry about it. Agreed. And, and that's kind of the purpose of this move, trip, vacation. Yeah. Is to reduce the stress in our lives, not add to it. Agreed. <laughs> and that was one way we came in our own minds that it have reduced the stress. Have peace with it. Yeah, have peace with it. That somebody had a birthday since our last yeah we went to Sedona it was a really um, amazing wonderful experience with my husband of course and my friends it was so fun <laughs> a lot of crazy laugh and fun memories like we went picking up unexpectedly for apples <laughs> and we always go to where a lot of apples are and we went swimming to the cold water again <laughs> hiking window shopping and we went fishing and we somebody caught their first fish on a hook I, and line i know it's like kind of like frustrating too when <laughs> i got my second third fourth and never caught it jump <laughs> you should put but in a small well. and a small video uh, including the you know on this chica chica thing as time allows i'm trying to get videos together but we're kind of running around like a chicken with its head cut off and I, I i haven't been having the time to get videos together yeah and i've got a video project for a friend of ours that you need to that i prioritize I, I, I need to prioritize that i need to get it done urgently and i may wind up posting that to our channel as well yeah so if you see a posted video that's not really anything to do with Phil's to Phoenix please understand why yeah and you notice we're not quite as spontaneous in talking as we normally are because we got notes this time yeah we wanted to hit everything yeah. and, and include it but 
and, and kind of wanted to speed up the process because the last video took us 15 minutes. Yeah, so and we tried to put it less than 10 minutes because sometimes we over, you know, do and it's boring. So and we're trying to be respectful of you guys' time watching this. The, yeah. So for the last three weeks, I practice. I started practicing driving, right? Yes. <laughs> the. Since the last video, I think we made comment that yeah, so you were I starting to learn. Pra practice, uh, yeah, learn driving. And, and since then, somebody's not only learned to drive, they've tested, and Monday they passed. Hey, Ray, I got my driver license after five years here in Arizona. Or in the U.S., of course. <laughs> and, and the biggest reason for getting a driver's license at this point is you can transfer an American license a, and get a Filipino, Filipino license. license. And so we figured with driving school and everything like that here, uh, it's not cheap, but it's it's not horribly expensive. You know, don't don't get that idea. But uh, yeah, it's way easier. Didn't even have to go down to DMV it's for the test or the license or anything else. The, that it was a way simple process. Yeah. And then today, I tried to drive a standard. <laughs> and not, you not only tried, you succeeded. Oh my god, I tried to push hard the clutch because I'm like, I'm short, and, you know, so. The uh, friend of mine, uh, you've seen him here a couple times, Ricky, that he has an old farm truck type. Yeah. Uh, Ford F-150 or two, I think it might be a 250, a three quarter ton version, but uh, it, it's an old farm truck and the, the clutch on it's a tad bit on the stiff side. Yeah. But it's also got a granny gear that the first gear is geared way low, that it's actually kind of hard to stall out. Oh yeah. But it's really good for teaching somebody to, to feather out the clutch and not stall it out and let them see that if you're careful, you can actually do it without even touching it's the fuel. It's so interesting because you need to put your two feet, one for the brake and one for the clutch. I'm like, really? And then I cannot touch the, what I call that side? The shift or what kind of stick? Stick. I will post a video of that. I may just post the really video as is. I don't really have a comb is. on that video too. Oh. But uh, <laughs> she could. <laughs> she couldn't reach the stick and put it in first gear. <laughs> uh, it, it was actually kind of cute. That, like I say, it's a truck. I know. But mom and papa have a car. Yeah. And it's a standard. So she did kind of need to learn a little bit on basics how to drive it and understand what to do with the clutch yeah and she did act outstandingly well that she managed to start and stop it twice and never stalled it out no major herky-jerky or anything else yeah. so it was actually really cool and yeah. it, I think it was a huge confidence builder if nothing else correct I agree because you gotta feel the engine and hear it listen to the engine you know Feel and, it. And that's the advantage. It's like feeling. You know, it's all it feeling. Is. And, that, and that's what it is, and that's what I wanted you to see. And that was the advantage of starting out with one like that that is really forgiving. Because you haven't got to worry about fuel or anything else. You just got to worry about being able to, to, to ease clutch. that clutch out without stalling it. Yeah. And it lets you hear the engine and stuff like that to, to get it done. Yeah. The, that, that truck is geared so low that I, I showed her you not only could start out in first gear. You can start out in second and even third without ever touching the fuel. Yeah. Uh, third was a was a little bit of a challenge for me, but I, but you were able to get it started. Yeah. And finally, your son moved in. That in the last video we made comment that uh, we were cleaning that room so my son could move in. Yeah. And the weekend we were in Sedona, he started moving in, and when we got back. Uh, Cindy and I spent a night and we helped him get moved in. Oh yeah. And it, it was it was a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. So and a lot of things <clears throat> happened for that last video. We attended parties, dinners, <laughs> help a friend, garage sale, uh, helping a friend having plumbing issue. Help. It's just a lot going on, but it's fun and there's. There's so much thing, of course, that we will miss here in the U.S. But there's also f so much things that we are moving or looking forward to experience in the Philippines. That's for sure. 
Yeah, mom and papa said the barbecue joint up the road from them is yeah, open. So, so. We, if we we're stuck there, we could always go to the beach in a real well. We could always go to the market and go to the barbecue and coconuts and bananas. All the things and food I love is there. So I don't need to worry on that even I got quarantined. That's for sure. Yeah, because papa said that they're letting... Uh, now, now papa's 68? 67. 67. Yeah. Yeah, 67. That he just turned 67. No. He's turning 67 this September 29th. Yeah, nine more days. He turned 67. Yeah. And they're letting him out a couple times a day, you know, to go to the public market and stuff like that. And, <laughs> he got and, friends there and he sometimes sneak out. Yeah, you're, uh, <laughs> I guess you're only supposed to be out once a day or something yeah, like that. Yeah, sometimes I, he, he sure. just go three times or four times because, oh, he want to buy this or he want to buy a Lotto or he want to go this and <laughs> he just love going to the market according to my mom. So. And, and they're actually enjoying it and so it's starting to loosen up and uh, I've got the bike so that we can do public transit or we don't have to do public transportation. Mom and Papa have the car, so we've got secondary transportation you if needed. You could drive, but we need to register that car first, too. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so it's not registered. Uh -oh. But it should be there, because there's a we'll, registration office. In we'll that figure it out. So. Oh, there is one of Sabogo? Yep, there is now. Is it, there's an LTO? Yep. Oh, very cool. So. That actually makes it a lot easier, but sorry about not giving better updates. I will try my best to do a little bit more. I found a really cool app on my phone that you can, uh, it's part of the Photoshop suite that we subscribe to. Yeah. And it lets you take and edit and post, you know, short little videos right there from your phone. And then if you want, you can edit them better in Premiere on the computer through the cloud. Yeah. So. For those the people that are always watching our videos, thank you so much. For those who are new to our channel, um, feel free to like, subscribe, or give us a comment. And you could always watch our previous video to if you're curious on what our channel asks. And channel, what's the yeah, what our, our channel's, channel's about. about, right? And look for it to grow a little bit more over the next year or so. Yeah, definitely over the next few months. Yeah. But for now, Mabuhai. Good job. Cool. Okay, check it out.